Jack here from Truck Camper Hybrid. The hybrid in the truck camper name is a patented design where our campers are getting support from between the wheel wells of a pickup truck bed like a sliding camper as well as support from the bed rails of a pickup truck like a truck cap. This is what allows our campers to be bigger, lighter, and use less material. When I first started working with my engineer, he suggested I use CNC cut plywood for my first prototypes. I was a little biased against wood in a camper like many people, but he assured me engineered plywood was a very good option. Now that I've camped and built several of these campers, I thought a video on what I've learned would be very helpful. My goal in this video is to show you that a camper built from CNC cut plywood can create a camper that is long lasting, lightweight, inexpensive, and easy to build and repair. The RV industry uses stick construction for framing, or another name for that is 2x2 two two construction. The lumber used in this is different from plywood. There's no layers in this lumber, it's just a solid piece of wood. This is similar to the lumber used to build the framing in a house, which is mostly consists of 2x4 lumber. Plywood contains glued layers of cross grain patterns, making it very strong. Pound for pound, plywood is stronger than steel in static bending strength. And plywood won't expand or contract like solid lumber does. Most of the parts used to build truck camper hybrid are CNC cut. In case you don't know what a CNC is, it's a programmable machine used in manufacturing to create high precision parts. In order to get all the really cool angles of this camper as close together as possible, you really need a CNC. This frame rib here consists of six different parts that are doweled, glued, clamped, and then held together with narrow crown staples. This allows for a lot of parts to be laid out efficiently on a 4x8 sheet of plywood, which is very common at your local box store. By clamping and gluing two pieces of plywood together, this allows us to make a very straight part. Using dowels makes it very easy to put these parts together correctly. Okay, so the material that I'm using for my second prototype, uh, truck camper hybrid, is uh, for the framing or the skeleton, I'm using three quarter inch uh, plywood. And I'm using the Radiata Pine from Home Depot. Uh, I like it because it's cheap, it's lightweight, it looks good. Um, the only thing is, is it's maybe not as cabinet grade if you're screwing into the sides. But other than that, it's, it's a great wood. This piece right here is not straight. There's quite a bit of bend in this particular piece. And uh, bend is what you want to be careful of with your framing because bend is going to change uh, how your skins attach to your truck camper and can allow uh, gaps, which then in turn turn to leaks. All right, so here's the two pieces of the framing. And there's a reason why there's two pieces uh, cut from three quarter inch plywood. Uh, these pieces need to be strong. That front panel skin there is gonna be experiencing, you know, 70, 80 mile an hour winds driving down the highway. It definitely needs to be strong and I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna make it. These are CNC cut. And so you see those, those beautiful angles. I mean, just about impossible to get this accuracy of a part cut from traditional um, woodworking equipment, which is why we're using the CNC. And what we do is we essentially drill these quarter inch holes to hold one and a half inch dowels. We put those dowels in here and here. And what that allows us is perfect alignment on these two parts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tight bond, um, ultimate two glue, right here, and we're gonna put a code in here like this, and we're gonna clamp these tight so we see the glue squeeze out all around on each part. Then we're gonna take our one and a quarter inch um, narrow crown stapler gun, and we're gonna put, we're gonna basically put in a staple at an angle to hold what that vice clamp was holding in place. 
And then we're gonna set our parts aside for 24 hours in above 50 degree environment. And that's gonna make an extremely strong, extremely straight, lightweight, accurate part. Here's the uh, part that I was showing you that we were building and I'm now gonna show you it installed. It's actually the la one of the last pieces um, of the nose before we uh, install the roof of the camper over here. And it's basically going to fit right underneath as I was showing you in that diagram. And then we're gonna glue it. We're gonna staple that front skin to that and then drive in some two and a half inch screws on the side. I'll glue it and this is going to make for a very strong nose. My engineer was right that using engineered plywood was a very good option for making a truck camper. There's no need for extra insulation to be added to the camper. It holds in heat and cold air very well, especially considering the smaller square footage. It's got the feel and smell of a log cabin. It's easier to repair than aluminum. Interior build out is easier as well with all of these thick frames that we're able to screw into. And the cost of materials is lower. This camper required six sheets of three quarter inch plywood, seven sheets of 3 8 inch plywood for a total cost of plywood around $600. And I expect with the polyurethane coating that this camper is going to last a very long time. If you are interested in joining our network, there are several ways to partner with us. You can purchase a parts file to CNC cut yourself, use our CNC services network to have someone cut your parts, or purchase one already built. If you sign on early enough, you may qualify as an early adopter and receive the customized parts file for free. Go to our website and fill out the I'm Interested form.